Welcome to today's tutorial. I'm going to teach you how to make a monkey's head catch on fire. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> kind of. Today in Blender, I learned how to make a mesh of a monkey head catch on fire. And that sounds a bit strange, because it is strange, but um, I'm going to teach you how to do the same thing. <laughs> so let's do it. Go ahead and open Blender. When you first open Blender, here in the, in the middle of the screen you'll notice that there is this menu here. This is called the splash screen, and it has the name of Blender on it, and the version number, and at the bottom here, it has all of these different things that you can do. You can open, folder, you can recover your earlier projects. To be honest, we don't have any earlier projects. This is our very first one, so we're going to not even pay any attention to this splash screen menu, and if you want to exit out of the splash screen menu, you can click exit, or you can just click anywhere that is not on the splash screen. So we're going to click out here like that. And when you open a new project in Blender, here we have a moldable, never before touched or changed cube. And you can tell that it's highlighted because of its orange outline. See how when I click outside of it, the orange outline goes away. So we're going to click the cube again and then push delete to get rid of it because we don't want the cube, we want the monkey. So to add another mesh into your project, we're going to use a hotkey shortcut, and that is Shift plus A, A for add. And here, look at this menu that popped up. All sorts of things you can add into your project, but at the very top, it says mesh. And we're gonna go into the mesh menu, and you can do all sorts of things. You can add plane, cube, circle, UV sphere, cone, and we'll play with all of that later, but for today, let's go ahead and add in this monkey. I don't know why they have a monkey, but it's kind of hilarious. So let's add the monkey. There he is! If you don't know how to move around your screen yet, I'll have a video about that also. But for now, you can just touch this XYZ sphere thing in the corner, the top right corner, and adjust view of your monkey to however you want. I'm gonna go right in front of him like that. <laughs> okay, next we're going to add some smoke to our monkey. Another way to add things um, that you might not even know where they are in Blender is to push F3 and then the search menu pops up here and you can type anything into the search bar but we're going to type in smoke. See where we can find some smoke for our monkey head. There it is, quick smoke. We're gonna click on that and watch. Oh, I forgot to touch my monkey. You have to select the monkey to be able to add something to the monkey. Silly me. There we go. And one of these boxes goes around your monkey. I actually don't know anything about this box yet, but apparently when you're adding things to an object, like an animation like smoke or particles coming off of it, there's a box that surrounds your, your object. And then the animation of the particles happens within the box. That's all I know for now. I'll tell you more about it when I figure it out myself. <laughs> so let's play our animation of our smoke. Ooh, it's going so slow. That's because it's never rendered before. It's like figuring out how to render it as we speak. Man, that is really slow. Also, it stopped doing it at the 50 marker. So I'm going to teach you how to make your renders go quicker and I'm going to teach you how to make the, the animation go for longer than just 50. 50 is like what the program puts as the default setting. So <laughs> first let's add some fire to our smoke. We're gonna go over here to Suzanne which is the name of our monkey right here in the right top corner of our program in the scene collection. <laughs> So she's right here, Suzanne. Click on Suzanne and then go down here to all these options and we're going to click on this one right here, this little circle with the 
line around it. It's the physics properties of Suzanne that we want to work with. Scroll down. So notice how its type is fluid. And then the flow type that we've added to Suzanne is smoke. But we want to change smoke by clicking on it and go down here to fire and smoke. And then that should change it. Let's go back, start our animation at the beginning here, push play again, and it doesn't show it. So that's annoying. <clears throat> well, first of all, let's go back to smoke domain and change it to last longer by scrolling all the way down to its physics properties here, here at the bottom. See how it says frame start one and end 50? That means that the animation is starting at one and it ends at 50. And we want it to go all the way here to 250. So let's change 50 to 250. Oh, that's too long, there we go. And that should work. Oh look, the fire's loaded now, finally. All right, still rendering super slowly. Pause that actually and fix the rendering next. I'll show you that it goes further in a second. What you want to do is called baking. We're gonna bake this, which just means that the program will save a memory of the simulation as it's already loaded so that you won't have to load from scratch every single time. It'll just read from what it already saved from its memory. We're going to push F3 again, which is going to bring up our search bar, and we're going to type in bake. And there's a bunch of different bake options. Because what we are baking is a fluid, um, uh, as a fluid, we're going to bake its particles. I tried baking an object and it gave me an error, which is why I, when you go over here to the physics properties, you can see that it's actually fluid that we're working with and we're wanting to bake its particles. So we're going to click bake particles and watch that. Down at the bottom of the screen down here, it says fluid bake and it shows a bar that's continually getting further along as we bake our fluid. We're at 35% takes a little bit of time, so you want to be patient. And you can't do anything else while you're baking. What are you doing? Oh, oh no. no. This is not how. No. Uh-oh. <laughs> uh, just like in real life, don't go trying to do all sorts of things all at the same time. It won't let you. But this is so cool. It really helps when you're rendering your animation for it to not lag. I appreciate that. It's worth waiting a couple seconds here. All right, and when it's done, it will say fluid, bake particles complete. Awesome. Now let's take it, our animation, make sure it's at the beginning, it is, it's on frame one, and let's push play. Look at that, whoa, it's a bit laggy still. Give it a second. It works though, see that, isn't that cool? There we go, it caught up. And see how it continued past the 50 marker? All the way up to 250 frames it goes. That is so cool. All right, that's it. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed setting a monkey's head on fire in Blender with me today. We'll learn more things next time. Bye.